back to action here at Weibel Avenue Arena. I'm Ben Myers, folks, for TimesUnion.com and the Sidelines blog. Welcome to tonight's rivalry game between the visiting Shenoa Flamesman and the Blue Streaks of Saratoga, potentially the number one seed in the upcoming Section 2 playoffs. On the line as these two do battle tonight. Already played each other once this season, right before Christmas. Blue Streaks suffered one of their worst defeats in the season, a 4-2 loss at the hands of the Plainsman at the Clifton Park Arena. Shots on both goaltenders so far. We'll get you those names in just a moment. Numbers for these two coming in. Saratoga coming in 10-2 in Section 2 play this year. They've winners of their last three in a row, and those all have come via the shutout. So an 18-0 streak is what the Blue Streaks are on coming into this one with a 10-0 win over SGA HF, which is South Hunts Falls, Hudson Falls. And then back-to-back 4-0 -back wins over LaSalle and CBA. Plainsman come into this one actually on their first loss of the season in Section 2 play. Dropped a 6-4 game to Shaker Colony in their last one out. They got up two goals per period to the Jets in that one. 13.45 left to go. As you saw, shot on both Ryan Bourgeois, the senior goaltender for Saratoga, and Ryan Walter, the junior stopper for the Plainsman. Get you those numbers in just a moment. Coming into this one, though, Plainsman plus 18 on the season in terms of goals, and they're going to have an early chance here as the hand is up. And an early power play chance. Plus 18 on the season for Shen. 65 goals for 47 against coming into this one. Blue Streak's even better. Plus 42 on their goals for the season. 82 for and only 40 against. It's going to be a trip on this one, though. It's going to give Sarah Shenanda Holler, excuse me, the first power play of the game. Send Cam McCall into the box, freshman defender with the trip to get things started. 13 27 is when this first power play is going to come off for Shenanda Holler. Saratoga penalty on the goalie, 31, Ryan Bourgeois, minute 30 for tripping. So there you go. It's actually going to be served by McCall, but the penalty minutes will be enforced on Bourgeois. Called for the trip. Ferraro with it on his stick, and he'll have to just circle around and wait for the play to set up. Now he'll bring it out of his zone and over the red line. Down in, and then we're going to have offside player called against Shendahoa, so they can't get anything started just yet. Looks like we're going to actually have a high stick here, too. And they're going to send, it looks like they're going to send Bullard into the box. So five on three for Shen in the early going. Five on three for the Plains, but high stick called against Bullard. So an extra, an extra advantage for the Plainsman now. As Luce, Wormley, and Lehman are going to have to kill this one off along with the goaltender Ryan Bourgeois. For another 104, 5 on 3. Holding it on the far side with Sacks at the point, trying to get something started. Ferraro's waiting on the near side, but can't get that. And they'll say they're going to the corner now, try and go back up to the point. And a misplay there, and we're going to have this puck go the length of the ice before it's collected by Sacks. 44 seconds left in the 5 on 3. 12.38 left in the period as Sacks brings it up through the neutral zone. Carry it over left side. Now we'll dump it in along the boards. Hunter's going to go in pursuit. Wormley's there to stop him. Can't get him there first, though. And Tardif has it on his stick now as he drops it back. Luce has the harassment there. One gets through to Bourgeois. He'll flip it up in the air and over the top. Layman had it. Now it'll be taken back. And now a shot up coming. Bourgeois make this kick save. And this one will go off the side of the net. We're actually off the side of the net. And this one's going to get caught up in the netting there. And we'll have a stoppage. 18 seconds left in the five on three. 12 15 left in the period. The shots already I've registered them on the scoreboard just yet. Yeah. And this one, Bourgeois, second in section two as the faceoff can come out in the neutral zone. Second in section two goals against this season with 2.04 allowed per game. He's got a save percentage of 90.7 coming in this one. Chamberlain will grab it at the back, start it back up ice for Shenandoah. We'll get the pass across and now drive it in up the left side with Miles. Miles will get one through to Bourgeois. He's going to cover here. We're back to five on four hockey now for another 19 seconds. 11.52 left in the period. 
Rock going up against Brian Walton today, the junior, eight and four, three, uh, or eight and four in the season with three shutouts. We need to 58 on the saves, save percentage of 89.9 and a 2.42 goals against. As another one gets flipped on Bourgeois and he just holds on to it. 16 seconds left in the advantage for Shenandoah. Puck down, be flipped over into the corner. Tools at the point, waiting to see what's going to come of it. Mork actually backhands it out. Ch Chamberlain has a go at it. This was going to be gloved and held by Bourgeois. We're down to six seconds on the power play for Shenandoah. Mm -hmm. He'll have it on his stick near side after the win on the draw. Turn it around, then he'll be knocked off the puck by Lehman, but he has the pass up Rousseau with a nifty little backhand there. But the Plainsman defense can't keep it in the zone. Saratoga's able to clear out and kill off the rest of the penalty, so we're back to even strength hockey. Here's side. Peyton had it there for a second, couldn't keep the handle on it. Now we'll get bounced back and forth. Lehman will end up with it, play it off the glass and out into neutral ice. Bring it back to Tar, excuse me, Miles on cap, grab that one. And now he'll go far side with it and dump in. 11.05 left in the period as Bourgeois stops it in behind. Lehman couldn't get the, a clean handle on it. Now we'll get the pass off. Eventually connect with Klingbeal. Klingbeal played out in the neutral. And we'll have Sachs turn it around for Shenandoah. Back over the blue line, but Saratoga in control. Play it out through McCall off the boards, trying to hit Merriman up there. And we might have an ice here. No, it's going to be waved off. I'm going to keep playing. Play it around with Cameron Cool, the eighth grader. Doing a job on defense. He's paired up with Ferraro tonight on defense. This one's played out to Merriman. Merriman will get one through to Walter, and they had a, somebody driving in on there with Cervelli, actually. And they couldn't get a good shot off. Ferraro's going to break out with it up the right side, though. Two on two. He'll get the shot on. Bourgeois able to leg it into the corner rather easily, though. 10 20 left in the period. Played out backhander by Hunter will go across the map to the piece, but nobody's home. Finally gathered on the far side by Klingbeal. Lindy will have it knocked away. Bartizek has it now. He'll be harassed too much to hold on to it. He gets to be knocked away by Hunter. Bartizek still trying to get anything, something out there, but now he'll be off the throw at the blue line. He'll fire one through, but it'll deflect off everybody and go into the far side corner before being policed up by McCall and then fired out into the neutral. And actually, this one's going to get up into one of the benches here, so we're going to have a stoppage of play with 9.54 or 9.54 left in the period. And Shenandoah up to eight shots on this one. Saratoga with only a pair of tries thus far. So the plane's been in control early. Thanks to that five on three, mostly. Standing room only crowd here at Weibel for these rivalry showdowns. It was standing room only when we were in Clifton Park, which turned out to be a four to two win for Shen. 68 penalty minutes in that one. Chamberlain can't get the handle on it. Smith knocks it away. And now Bullard has it, and he'll come up the left side. Rousseau was there to stop him, but it'll eventually be knocked off the puck on the side by Irving. Far side with Smith, now in the corner with Bullard. Smith and Bullard going back and forth. They want to get through to Walter, and it was loose for a moment, but the shed defense was there. Break it out, come up the middle with Brandon Morka. Knocked away by Wormley, and come back comes Saratoga back in behind. Blue Streak's number 10 in the state in the last New York State sports writers' rankings. Shen was unranked, but right on the outside looking in. Bullard had it near side. He'll flip one all the way across. So Wormley, Wormley will have a go, and this one's going to hit the flex of a few and go in. And Saratoga draws first blood. For his fourth goal of the season, Bullard will be his eighth assist. And like we said, Saratoga with 83 goals now on the year, compared to only 40 allowed thus far. Van 
the bases go back and forth as Peyton gets one up to loose. Leading point scorer in Section 2 this season. He's going to be offside coming in, though, and we're going to go back out of the neutral zone. 8.46 left in the period. Eight shots for Shen, only three for Saratoga, but one of them got home as Brendan Wormley has the blue streaks up one to nothing. He'll get the face off, play it off the boards, try and play it ahead to Tardiff. Tardiff will finally get the handle on, on the far side. Backhand one across, can't find anybody friendly though. Lehman will have it on his stick and try and get it out. Can't do it though. Now they bounce ping pong back and forth, back out in the neutral zone. We still have the ping pong, and now Miles will have it as he'll put it in on the dumb. Bartizek in behind, he'll grab the puck there, work it out. Even though he's knocked out for by Tardiff. Tardiff got a pass across, but can't find anybody except Peyton from Saratoga. Back out and through neutral. Bring it through with Lehman. Lehman will get it over on the far side and eventually get a dump in by Naples as Saratoga gets a change in behind the play. Saratoga recovering from that five on three they had to endure in the early going. Chance coming here for Naples, or for Lehman, excuse me, and he'll defender in front. Now one will get on Walter and it'll still be loose and now he'll cover it up. A couple of skaters will go down here. And we'll see. It's, Looks like Alex Luce is the one that ends up on the ice, and they're going to send a plainsman off here. It'll be the first power play of the afternoon or of the evening for Saratoga. Send Peter Sachs into the box. Get up with him up to 18 penalty minutes on the season. 7.53 left in the Ladies period. Finally, number 10, Peter Sachs. Minute and a half for charging. So 7.53 left in the period. Since taking an 8-2 lead in shots early on, Saratoga has the last five attempts on goal. And they'll have a power play here with just under eight minutes to go in the frame. Wormley played across the Lehman. Lehman will get a one-shot try and it'll go high. Held in back and behind by Winters. Winters finally get the pass up to Bullard. Bullard over to Wormley. Wormley works it. He flips one towards goal. And this one goes just wide to the right and the whole way back out as Lehman's going to have to police it up for the Blue Streaks. He'll backhand it over to Luce. Luce will have to bring it back in his own zone before he can start it back the other way. Play it back to Lehman. Lehman tries to go cross ice. And this one was up top. And Quigley got his stick up in the way there. And they're going to actually call him for a high stick on this one. So 7.25 left in the period. 1.02 left in the power play. Shendaho is going to have a face-off coming off to Walter's left-hand side in their own zone. Bullard in the circle. And they have, actually, they're, excuse me, they're going to kick out Shen, And then Quigley's going to take the draw, and he'll lose it. And this one will be deflected up the top again off Quigley's stick. Now we're on a far, far side with Bullard. He'll play cross ice to Wormley. Wormley will get a try and hit Walter and then bounce into a crowd. They're still scrambling for it. Not in the goal just yet. And then we're going to have a stoppage as Walter's able to get a glove on it. Nine left in the period, 46 seconds left on the power play. Shots are even at eight apiece now. The Wormley goal, the difference in the game, one nothing. Saratoga in the lead, taken by Naples and moved on around behind. And we play it out to the point, Bartizek there. Back up to Naples in the corner though. And we play back and forth off the boards. And now they're gonna pass across from Peyton. Shot up coming, it'll be deflected in front. Morka gave up the body on that one. Taken away by Chamberlain, he'll fling it all the way around, and now we're down to 20 seconds as Morka comes out with it on the penalty kill. Morka drive it over the left side, he's on side, go all the way back and by. Now he'll flip one, and this is actually gonna flip one a little high and up and out of play here. 12 seconds left on the power play for Saratoga, 6.35 left in the period. Chance to actually step aside here for a moment. We'll be right back with the rest of the first period in just a second.